I used to follow boxing when I was little. My uncle was a big fanatic, so we would always go to his house and we would watch boxing every time. I grew up on Julio Cesar Chavez, Tyson. I grew up on Oscar de la Hoya. I grew up on all those. And then I stopped watching boxing. Years later, here I am, a YouTuber. Been doing YouTube for two years. And here we are watching two YouTubers box, okay, in the ring. This is my first time watching boxing since I was little. And man, <laughs> they did not disappoint. I didn't record my reaction to the fight because most likely they're gonna copyright and they're gonna block your video. And I don't got time to waste. I'm not gonna edit that and for it to be blocked, okay? So here I am, I'm giving my response to the fight. Oh my God, I had the whole house to myself. Here I am watching the fight on my laptop. Boy, if you've seen my video about the fight, I chose Logan Paul to win. Now keep in mind, this whole time I've wanted, I've wanted KSI to win. But let me give you a backstory. I've been a supporter of Logan Paul since he started, okay? That whole year he gained 17 million subscribers. I was a supporter since the very beginning. Then that whole Suicide Forest came out and I watched it. I watched it I think 30 minutes after it got uploaded. And I was so disappointed, so disappointed. But I did do a video, if you can click onto it right there, on the Bliss and Pris channel. I was on Logan Paul's side still because I've been following him for so long and we don't know YouTubers, okay? We don't know YouTubers on a personal level. You guys don't know me. You guys know Bliss. You don't know Carol, and Carol is my real name, by the way. The only ones that really, truly know me, truly know me, is myself <laughs> but I would say my wife knows me a little bit more than others nobody wanted to give Logan Paul a second chance everyone thought he was an asshole he did, does not deserve to be heard does not deserve anything that he has in life right now but I've always thought differently Logan Paul reminds me of myself he has a good heart but the second that you think he's an asshole the second that you misunderstand him and believe he's an asshole, he's gonna give that to you. That's what he's gonna show you because now his wall is up. You think I'm an asshole? I'm gonna give you what the fuck you want. I'm gonna give you exactly what you think I am because his wall is up. And I see that in Logan Paul. I do not, I'm so against people thinking that he's a sociopath. I completely think he's opposite of that. He just wants to show you what you believe he is. It's a defense mechanism. Throughout this whole fight, he's been giving KSI that, that evil persona, the, the bully, right? This whole time I wanted KSI to win because to me, KSI is an underdog. I always go for the underdog, always. But I wanted Logan Paul to win because he worked so hard. He literally put his blood, tears, and sweat into this fight. He had a goal in mind and he worked so hard to try to get it. He wanted to win this fight. And that desire, that commitment, that heart, that passion that he had to win this fight, that's why I wanted him to win. But if you remember in my video, I said I also wanted him to lose. He really needed to get knocked down. He really needed to hit rock bottom to humble himself back. And to understand that that asshole persona that he is not, needs to stop. He needs to be himself. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to show who you are. Show them who you are. By the way, I'm in my, <laughs> I'm in my tank top because I'm, a, I'm at home. I'm watching this fight by myself. So I'm comfortable, okay? I'm in my, I'm in my zone right now. So while I was watching this fight, <laughs> I literally did not know what I wanted. I have a lot of respect for the both of them. They worked so hard to get to this point. They're fighters. Logan Paul does not come from a stable family. KSI, I didn't know him until that first fight that they had. That's how I got to know him a little bit. And right now at this moment, he has tension and an unstable relationship with his family. So this is all they know. That fight, that desire, that survival mentality is all they have right now. Because the, the people closest to them hurts them the most. So this is all they have. Man, it was so tough to watch that fight, oh my God. 
God, it was such a good fight. Every time Logan got him, I clapped. Every time KSI got him, I clapped, <laughs> okay? When KSI knocked out Logan Paul, the referee did not count it because he had a he had a really fucked up angle, so he didn't really realize that that was a knockout. And in video, you can see it was a knockout, but it wasn't accounted for. When Logan Paul knocked out KSI, man, that shit was so clean. But the problem was, Logan Paul punched him in the back of the head while he was down. That's what made him lose two points. Should have been one point, but he lost two points. Because of that KSI knockout to Logan Paul wasn't counted, and because of that two point deduction that Logan Paul received and didn't deserve, it balanced everything out. It was a fair fight. KSI won the fucking fight. And when they announced KSI is the winner, do you wanna know what I did? Do you wanna know what I did? I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. Okay, so here I am, right? I'm watching the fight. KSI! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Then I sat my happy ass down. <laughs> okay? It was crazy because I'm happy KSI won because he was the underdog and he accomplished the hard work that he put in. He won. Not only did I celebrate KSI's victory, I also celebrated the rebirth of Logan Paul. And I'm not gonna lie to you, even though this is YouTube, this is real life, by the end of the day, I teared up. I teared up for Logan Paul because Logan Paul reminds me a lot of myself. He needed that loss. If you see my videos, you hear me talk about it. That's the video right there, okay? In case you haven't seen it. Click onto that video and I actually explain myself. He needed that loss because he needed to humble himself. This is a lesson that he needed to understand that it's okay to be vulnerable. So at the end of the fight, after the winner was announced, they squashed their beef. Has this score been settled now? Do you guys at least respect each other as men, as warriors? Alright. It takes a big man to get in the ring. You made me work today. Thank you for a good fight, bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you for a good fight. Thank you. Thank you. You had my respect before this match, bro. And as much shit as I can talk, I don't like being a dick to you. It's all, it's all for show, it's all to sell it, dude. You are one of the toughest people I know and I wish you the best. They respected each other in a way that nobody in this world can ever explain. They stood in their shoes and they walked the same fucking path. The same fucking path that nobody else has. Only they can understand each other and the process that they went through. Because by the end of the day, they went through it together twice so they have to respect each other come on now i don't know man that's it that shit was such a good fight i just wanted to get on camera and explain my feelings my emotions throughout this whole fight and it was awesome it was such a great fight you guys did it man it happened and i'm so happy for you guys you guys accomplished so much you guys gained such a fan base and I hope people really see Logan Paul in a different light. Logan Paul did say at the end of the fight that he's always respected KSI, always. This whole time he's respected him. But he had to play the part, you know what I'm saying? He had to play the part of the asshole, of the bully, because this is a show. So man, good fight you guys. You guys did such an amazing job. I respect you both and Keep moving forward. I truly believe that you guys should be friends. You guys have a lot in common, so hang out, man. Have a good time. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck everybody else, too. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.